Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my 11th Python 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the uh, the while statement in Python 3. And the while statement is a type of looping statement, which means that it allows you to repeatedly execute a block of statements as long as a certain condition you specify is true. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you what that means. First, I'm going to need a variable. I'm going to set this equal to 0. Um, I don't whatever anyway now I'm gonna run my while statement and the while statement if you watched um, my tutorial on the if statement is actually it's remarkably similar to the if statement even if you didn't watch that tutorial it still is remarkably similar but that's not the point um, so so first you write while um, just like the if statement except in if you write if and then you write the boolean expression and my boolean expression is gonna be while x is less than 5 and the colon, which ends this first statement and tells Python to run whatever you say next. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to check to see if x is less than 5. It'll run a certain condition, a certain set of statements, sorry. And then it'll come back up to check and see again if x is less than 5. And this is why it's different than the if statement, because the if statement only runs it once, while the while statement will run it multiple times. So now I'm going to put in my uh, my statements. First, I'm going to update x every time this is run by adding one to it. So eventually, it will be uh, greater, not less than five, and uh, then it'll end the statement. And then I'm going to print x, and now I'm going to run it. So you can see what happened. First, it checks to see if uh, zero is less than five, which it is, and it adds one to that, and it prints that out, which is one. It'll keep doing that until it gets it'll get to four. All right, four is less than five, so uh, so let me add one to four, make it five, print that out. Oops, five is not less than five, and then it ends the statement. And uh, that is one way uh, that the while statement can be used to uh, break out kind of of uh, the loop is by this statement not being true. But you can see it's really it's really powerful because. Um, it allows you to run things multiple times. Um, now another way that it can break out of this loop is using the break statement, which is simply break. And let me show you how that can be used. Um, now the most the most important thing it would be used for would be if you were in an infinite loop, which means uh, it keeps running the statements forever. Um, and you may want to do, do that on purpose. And one way you can do that on purpose is by using the Boolean expression true which basically says keep running this forever okay because true is always true um, so let me add one to x every time and then print it out but then if x is uh, equal to let's say twenty then i'm gonna run the break statement and then it'll break out and now you can see if i run it if i didn't have this little statement in here it would keep running this forever because true is always true um, Similarly, if I had done while x is greater than 0, it would have kept running this forever um, because that would have always been true. So there's the two different ways that you can break out of a while loop. Um, and now let me show you a, a quick program implementing the while loop. So let's go up to File New Window. And what this program is going to do is it's going to allow the user to input a number and that number is going to be added to a sum. And it's just going to keep going forever until the user enters zero, which will break them out of the, the while loop. So I'm going to have that number be equal to one. This could actually be equal to anything. I could have it equal to two, but this number cannot be equal to zero. And I'll show you why in a minute. And then I'm going to have the sum, which is x, and that's going to be equal to zero because there is no sum. Then I'm going to print out two statements, basically telling the user what's going on. Numbers to add them. And I'm going to say, Lots of times you're going to want to have statements like these just so the user knows what they're supposed to do. So now my while statement is going to uh, <clears throat> it's going to happen. I guess I don't know. This is what I'm putting in my while statement. So that's what my while statement is going to look like. And what this means is while x does not equal zero, it runs this certain set of statements. And the way I'm going to break out of this is when the user input zero, it's going to update the, val the variable x with zero, 
and then when it when it comes back and checks this uh, this statement right here, it'll see oh hey x is uh, x is actually equal to zero. So this is wrong, and it breaks out of it. So let me uh, type up the body of this statement real quick. So I'm going to print the sum first. Obviously, right away it's going to be zero, and then I'm going to update x, and I'm going to update x with a user input. And so I'm just their prompt, prompt is going to be number. And now I want to, I want to actually convert this to a number because I'm going to have to be adding them together. And as it is, it's a string, and so that that's not going to work. So I'm going to actually instead of using the int function, I'm going to use the float function. I just wanted to uh, to throw this one in here just to tell you guys what it means. Actually, uh, float it. If you saw that little box that popped up, it says that it converts it to a floating point number, which is basically a decimal. Um, it's just a little more precise than integers because integers can only be whole numbers. Um, so then I'm going to update the sum, make that equal to the sum previous sum plus x, and that's going to be the end of my while loop. And so, uh, let me just finish this off real quick. Total, and that's going to be s. All right. So basically, what my while loop is doing is it's going to keep running this until this number, the x, is it, this variable is zero, and uh, that'll only be zero when the user inputs uh, input zero. So then, when they input zero, it'll finish off this last statement. It'll come back up here, uh, run the check it'll see that x is indeed equal to zero and so this is false and then it'll exit out and print total so let me save that I'm just gonna save it as while dot py because we can't I did not even spell while right but I don't care and I'm going to run the module alright so now you can see it just print out these two things these were both printed out before the while statement and these two are inside of it this is actually just the prompt so let me put in a number I'm just going to put in one for right now and you can see it updates the sum with one but it'll actually keep adding to the sum because the sum is updated with x and I can actually you know use negative numbers if I want so you can see this will, this will keep running forever and it's only what three statements it's just the same three statements for if you want to uh, include the while statement which is run every time and it's uh, it adds the numbers to them and it'll give them some. You know, they could do the same exact thing with a calculator. But hey, why not just use your program? But anyway, so you can see while the x is not equal to zero, while the number they put in is not equal to zero, it'll keep running this. But what happens if they put in zero? It'll exit out of the program, throw them this total uh, output there, and exit the program. And that's because, again, it, it's like, okay, x is zero. Oops, x is zero and that's not not equal to zero that and so that this is false and it'll exit um, alright so that is it for this tutorial I showed you uh, how to create a while statement which is very similar to the if statement if you forget um, and if you forget again come back and watch this tutorial uh, and I showed you how to break out of it both using um, the actual boolean statement uh, and the break statement, which is it can be the break statement can be used to break out even if you have like a boolean expression here that isn't true, but it's especially helpful when you're in an, when you want to be in an infinite loop. Um, so then I just showed you this quick little program here, which uh, used the while statement, and as soon as x was equal to zero, this would break out of it and finish. So uh, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.